Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a haul with you guys because I have bought a few bits and pieces for spring, even though it currently is not spring over here in the UK. It is literally hailing. <laughs> like, hailing down with stones. I don't know where spring is, but it's definitely not here. So, I have a few bits and pieces from and other stories and cause you guys know cause is my favorite the few bits and pieces that i have from and other stories majority of them don't fit because i'm so used to buying my clothing from cause that when i order the sizes that i do from cause in and other stories the sizing in other stories do not fit me in the same way that cause does so it's a little bit frustrating but i'll show you those bits and pieces anyway i also have a new pair of boots from texas paris hold on Paris, Texas. But as always, before we get into things, if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Make sure you don't leave without hitting that subscribe <laughs> subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday slash Thursday and Saturday. Without further ado, let's dive into the first item that I'm gonna be talking about because I am currently wearing she. <gasps> this top is so cute. It's pretty, right? Pretty, pretty, pretty. I absolutely adore this top. This is from and other stories. I did get the black version as well. I love the black version for if you wanted to dress up smartly, but you don't want to be too over the top, but you still want to be, you know, the black version of this is perfect. The sizes that I ordered them in, I know one is bigger than the other. Okay, so the black size is in a size 36. Now, I wonder if this feels a little bit more comfortable because I have quite a wide back. This is a size 38. There is some of the um, stretchy material in the middle of the back. And yeah, the size 38 fits me perfectly on my top half because you guys know I've got a bit bigger bust and a broad back from all the gymming that I do. I then have this plain cropped t-shirt, but it's an oversized cropped t-shirt. The reason why I liked it is because of the long sleeves. I don't really like t-shirts that have short sleeves. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, but I did get it in a size up. So this is in a size medium, which is quite big and it's intentional because I, I don't really want that cropped cropped look. I still want it to be able to tuck it in. In general and other stories t-shirts I find to be really really good quality and I love the quality of their t-shirts as well as cos actually both of them they do really really good quality t-shirts. Okay so that's all the stuff that actually fitted me. <laughs> the rest of the stuff which oh, breaks my heart just a little bit because I was really looking forward to these trousers. I was actually thinking about pairing these with this top originally but yeah <laughs> when I say they just do not fit and it was really really sad because they would have looked really really pretty with this top um, they have a side zip over here my butt literally just fills out the whole thing and it's not stretchy material so there was no way I was gonna be able to zip it up um, I did order these in a size 36 which theoretically I am a size 36 now more than ever and yeah they just they don't fit my legs they don't fit my butt so I'm gonna be sending these back the next are a pair of jeans and with the jeans again I really really liked the fit of them I love the wide leg you guys know me and my wide legs like ugh. I'm waiting for the day wide legs go out of fashion because when they do I have no idea what I'm gonna wear <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be screwed because wide legs are like, like literally my just go-to for everything. I love my wide legs and these again really really flattering, really really nice pair of jeans just too tight for me on my bottom bit here. I can actually do up the waist but like this bit is literally giving me a wedgie when I put them on, so not great. But the reason why I really like these is because of the wash of them. They're not too dark, and I feel like they're the perfect blue, especially for springtime. I have not bought anything from and other stories in so long that I feel like I've just forgotten my sizing. Or you know when you shop at one place for too long and then you just get accustomed to the sizing from that one place? This cute little top, I really liked this and I thought it was adorable. It is in a size medium and it's just, 
it's too big it makes me look frumpy and I'm not a fan of tops that you know when you put trousers over them they start bunching up and they don't look great but you know it would have been a cute top if it actually fit me this is very much giving me Kate vibes which is why I did like it when I saw it because I'm like mm. Now we're moving on to cos. The first item which I'm going to show you because I am in love with this thing is my new little bag. This is one of those items which I'm in love with. Like when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is gonna look great on my shelf. This is gonna be my summer bag. It's so, so cute. And Raffia, you guys know, Raffia's like, how can you not have a Raffia bag for summer? Like seriously. Sort it out. <laughs> now this one was sold out when I ordered it, so I will double check. If it's not available, I have got you guys, and I have found another one, which I did post up on my Instagram a while ago when I ordered this one. But if you missed that, don't worry, I got you. It's gonna be in the links down below. This is what it looks like on the inside, just plain simple. And you have a zipper pocket on the side, over there. The other one that I am gonna link in the box down below will have a chain strap, which I do think is handy, okay? Because sometimes you don't wanna be carrying around your bag the whole time like this or underneath your arm. So that one I would say is a little bit better, but I haven't actually seen it in person. I would assume so, it's from Reese. It's going to be my perfect summer bag. These trousers I have already got, I've got three pairs of these trousers and I feel like every year that goes by, they release new colors. This is the new color of the linen trousers, which I swear by. I don't buy trousers from anywhere else but cos. They do have other colors in this as well. Um, they have the khaki, they have the black. Again, I'll leave everything linked in the description box down below so you guys can check those out. They're just so well fitting and they're really, really good quality. And I love them. So this is my new my new color that's been added to my little stash of linen trousers from Cos. The only thing that I will say is the reason why I bought this is because I bought it in a set. So I did order <laughs> a shirt to go with the trousers. However, I've come to realize that the shirt and the trousers aren't an exact match. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Probably not. It looks quite exact on the screen as I'm looking at it right now, but don't need to wear things as a set, do you? You can just switch it up a little bit. This is the shirt that I ordered. Now, I love this shirt so much because it's not your ordinary cuff. Well, I mean, it has a cuff, but it's a very, very wide cuff. I think I will be able to get away with wearing the two together because they're not that hugely different. Up next, we have the most <laughs> frustrating pair of trousers that I have ever bought. These are an all leather perforated pair of leather trousers and they have it on both legs and then the back looks like so. So less detailing at the back. I am struggling to get these pants off. Oh my goodness, they're so nice but geez, I don't think I can get them off. I'm literally Trying my absolute oh, oh there we go. Whew. I think because this this section of it here is quite thick and stiff, you need to unzip it first and then get it to come out. But even then, when I originally when I didn't try them on, when I tried to undo this button, it was impossible to do it without the zip open. So if you do get these pants, I recommend unzipping first because if you just tried to unbutton them whilst the zip is closed, is it's close enough to impossible. So my top thingy for these, but they're a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pair of trousers. You could just smell the leather, which I love the smell of leather. But yeah, these are definitely perfect for springtime, particularly on the cooler days because you don't want to be wearing leather on those hot, hot, Hot days. If you're living here, great because it's not warm. I feel like it's gonna snow to be completely honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. And then I think I have one more thing. Hold on, hold on. Oh yes, I do. I have sunglasses, which you guys need to let me know whether I should keep or not. Again from Cos, but these are with Linda Farrell, so they're a collaboration, and I saw these and I was like, Do you know what? Who knows new me? I'm ordering all the glasses that I always wanted to wear but never wore because I was like, no, we don't have the nose for it. And now I do and I'm like, 
Okay, hold on. Maybe I'm taking this too far. Um, that's what they look like. My husband said I look ridiculous. <laughs> because I've always wanted those thinner glasses from... Why is my brain gone blank? From Celine. You know, those iconic sunglasses from Celine that I could never ever get because they just look ridiculous on me. I have a pair of earrings. They're just a really, really classic statement pair of gold chunky earrings, which you guys know, chunky earrings are the in thing. Oh my god, sorry, I completely forgot. I have my boots to show you guys. Listen, Alinda. When I say I have been searching high and low for a good pair of brown boots, it saved me forever. And these were them. Oh, they are so beautiful. They're really, 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 really stunning. However, I wore them out for the first time. And um, maybe because I was in a rush. But walking in heels this high, oh! <laughs> this is officially my highest heel. I feel like I'm walking on my tiptoes. Great for if you're not gonna be walking around for very long and you're just, you know. I went for afternoon tea with my boys. I had to rush to my reservation. And let me tell you, running in these, oh my God. Gosh, the way I was struggling, my foot was cramping and burning. If you can hack it, they are well worth it because I definitely plan on wearing them. I just, I need to be smarter. If I'm running late, then these aren't the shoes for me. You can't run pain-free in a pair of heels this high. It's just impossible. Sometimes you just, <laughs> beauty's pain, my dear, beauty's pain. Anyways, that's it guys. That is literally it now. Flashbacks to <laughs> when I was running and my boys are like, mommy, you're not going fast enough. I'm like, listen, my foot is cramping, okay? I'm trying to run as fast as I can. You don't understand, because you're not wearing heels. But anyways, enough about my cramping foot and running for afternoon tea. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the weekend and a beautiful start to the week. I shall catch you in Wednesday's video. Take care, bye.